Hello and welcome to my lovely little channel. I'm Emma and this is So Do It Emma. I hope you're all well, safe and happy. Happy sewing. Um, if you just joined me, welcome. Thank you for those who have just subscribed. Um, a very warmest welcome and I hope you do enjoy the content going forward. Um, yes, yeah, so if you haven't already, this is rule one of the channel. Get yourself a cuppa and get comfortable and I'll be right back. As I was saying, thank you for those who have just joined and subscribed. But if you haven't subscribed, or if you just want to check that, make sure that you have subscribed. Um, do that right now, um, just in case, because sometimes you, I forget sometimes subscribe, and I thought I thought I already hit that box. Yeah, um, I do that with other channels, so. It takes one to know one. Hey. So, um, yes, welcome and welcome back. So, um, first off, I'm going to be talking about my stash, my stash of fabrics. And then I'll be talking maybe about my pattern and how I organise my PDF and my um, paper patterns. Is that okay? Um, yes, yeah, so stash. This is coming from um, a couple of challenges this month. So one is um, Shelf Sewing at September 21, which is run by Sewing from Scratch, Caitlin. Um, and she's started on a journey, not, not so recently, but she started on a journey about minim, being a mem, meminless, meminless. Um, and part of looking at what she has includes a fabric. So she's done a really interesting YouTube video. I'll link it in the box below um, for you to go and have a wee look at if you haven't already seen it. I think she's got a few videos coming out regarding shelf sewing September 21. So do check that out. And recently I just watched a video from Tom Cat Stitchery. She has been talking about her stash and how she organises her fabrics, um, which I find really quite interesting. And I, I really wanted to do something very similar for a long time. Um, I've just went through my fabrics again very recently and added more to my D stash, which um, is there. Um, if you're interested in it, go and check out my D stash channel on Instagram. Unfortunately, it's just UK only. Um, just because... Um, Outside the UK and Ireland, postage rates are insane. They're just too expensive, and yeah, I unless you're really, really wanting to pay that excessive amount of postage, it's not worth it. <laughs> so yes, that's just because of that. But. If you want to go and check out, if you, if you are in the UK and that you don't um, yet follow me on Instagram for the D Stash channel, then please um, go and check that out if you like a nice bit of fabric. So, that is kind of me trying to assess what do I see myself making out of things. Um, the colours that I kind of go to now. I feel like in my early days of 
getting fabrics I I got a lot of blues and a lot of greens and teals and stuff and it's quite overwhelming on how much I've still got of that kind of colour uh, colours um, so that hence there's quite a few bits of blues in my D stash <laughs> so yes um I'll be talking about what I really want to do so this is kind of a before video of how I'm going to tackle this um mess you can probably see it in that corner that is just a mini school of a mess that I really need to sort out and I think it's the only way going forward is to really organize my stash um of fabric collection um it's a totally different hobby to sewing isn't it <laughs> that's the way you get around this idea but yes um so yeah so first of first Tom cat stitchery um she she categorizes her different fabrics so I was like I really want to do that and I've really wanted to do that for ages so in the next month or so, I would give myself a month to do this because it is quite labour intensive taking out all the fabrics and unrolling it from the boards um, this is a A3 board and I've just cut it in half lengthwise with a Stanley knife so I get these boards and they're kind of like you know in the fabric shops I know that they're cardboard but these really do the um, woven fabrics they hold they hold the woven fabrics when they get wrapped around them which I do for that okay and then I put two I put a pin on each end of them just to secure them now of course if you're a wee bit more precious about your fabric just a wee bit more you can always put a woven ribbon around it to keep it intact but i find the pins they don't do any damage you just got to watch when you're taking them out so so that's that so going forward i'm going to unwrap all my knits from the boards and put them into bask into packs baskets that i've already got it's a pack this time from ikea and it's the drawers and i managed to get one on the marketplace in the bargain corner for cheaper i think it was an x display something from ikea and then another one i got from a facebook advert years ago so yes i've got two of them and i've got a taller one from my aunt she got a couple and then she decided not to use it so i was like okay i'll have it because that's really good fabric how i arranged my fabric kind of thing and i like I like how it is, it's like the Mary Kondo, the Kondo effect. Oh, I've got an itch. Oh. I couldn't ignore it. I meant to ignore it, but I couldn't. Like that fabric itch. <laughs> yes, the painful ban. <laughs> yes, this is all part of my. Emma, you've got to get your stash in order, get your house in order. And that includes the whole house. Um, I've got so much junk. So much junk. And I find it very hard to let go. Very hard. But, yeah. So, I'm going to unwrap all my knits. And then I'm going to put them in the pack drawers. But first of all, I need to... Um take out all the wovens from the drawers and then put the knits into the drawers and then I'm going to put all the wovens as much as I can onto the boards so I'm going to categorize where I'm going to put them on the shelves 
so you'll see like photos of shelves the billy shelves from ikea i know i'm all ikea kitted out here um yeah so yeah what was i saying so yeah i'm gonna wrap all my woven's around that and that is kind of it takes a wee while because i like i like to have it folded so it fits the boards you know what i mean so i get a pack of 16 from amazon and then you get 32 boards so i've got quite enough for a good amount of fabric and then i think the way the way that it looks i might be able to fit more board fabric boards fabric on boards fabric boards onto the billy shelves which will help and then i'll categorize them into denims chambres linens viscosies cottons and then maybe mark the shelf with a tiny um, vinyl sticker from the Cricut maker that I'll have to make up. I'll have to measure it as well. They'll be like really mini school, <laughs> mini mini <laughs> labels. But that way, then I can go. Oh, I'll go and get that fabric. And while I'm measuring and doing all the wovens and everything i'll measure them um, and then mark a stash card and then put the stash card on the board so when i go and have a look I, I know how much meterage there is and what the weight is if i've got that to hand so that is that and then with the knits i'll pop them nicely folded in the drawer um, as I've already got some in one of the pack systems folded up so I'll try and put them into fleece, sweat knits, um, sweater knits, pontiromas, french terry, cotton jersey, viscose jersey and so on. So I'll get that all done and I'll label it so I can just go and go quickly get what I need and they'll be also stash labelled stash card labelled so that's quite good so i hope you enjoyed this video if you've got any advice or tips um regarding what i should do for organizing my fabrics or let me know if you find this content interesting um and i'll definitely be back to show you how i got on um and i'll i'll record a video showing you what what i've done um and how i did it and what i find infuriating and helpful to me um yeah and i just hope that this way I can look at my own room and my fabrics and not be too overwhelmed. Um, going forward, I've already got my autumn winter fabrics sorted. So that really helps. I know what projects I really want to go for um, this autumn winter. So yeah that's going to tackle a few colours and projects and yeah then I'll have a problem with my wardrobe you win long, you win some you lose some <laughs> so on that note uh, yeah I don't know why I'm doing this on that note I hope you're all safe well and you know what's coming you know what's coming 
please subscribe if you haven't already and yeah say hi in the comments um if you've got any questions just ask away and yeah um i'll see you very very soon for another video take care folks bye